Danielle Anison, and I'll be showing you guys my beauty secrets to achieving a glowy sun-kissed makeup look. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. So if y'all didn't know, it's a pretend, I don't know if you've seen videos already, it's like pretend to be on Vogue channel, make a video. It's just a trending video that all girls are doing. So I was like, well, why not hop on it? And I haven't done a makeup video of like, you know, like my routine and everything in a while. So let's get right into it. So I just washed my face and I'm gonna show y'all my skincare to wash my face is the Tula skincare here it's a cult classic purifying facial cleanser oh my god i'm gonna put you on Tula brand it's such an amazing brand it's cruelty free it uses probiotics and superfoods in this cleanser and i love how gentle the smell of the cleanser is very clean and like smells so yummy and i love it and they cleanse off your makeup your dirt i really love using this cleanser so this is my go-to cleanser for when I wake up in the morning and do my face. And to go right after that, because I heard like one of the makeup artists say like, if you exfoliate your face before you put makeup on, your base of your face will be so smooth and your makeup will look so bomb. The exfoliator that I've been loving is also from Tula. It's, it's a soap polish exfoliating sugar scrub. And oh my god guys, this is such a good exfoliator because like you put it on your hands a little bit and then you massage it. It feels like a sugar scrub going all over your face and then one, it disappears and it smells so good like oh my god i love this stuff so it's cruelty free super good and i love it it makes my face feel super soft and i i love it so i just put these two on so now my face is clean so now my face is clean and all i do is just wet my hands a little bit and then kind of touch my face to make it a little bit wet next i use the ordinary hyaluronic acid before i put my makeup on just to hydrate my face and i really love using some kind of serum before I do my makeup so you know this makeup look is a very sun close glowing makeup look and we gotta have our skin very hydrated and I love how it just gives that glow already like if you see that glow and I don't know if you noticed um this is not my bathroom this is my mom's bathroom and it's nicer and it's bigger so I was like why not film in her bathroom okay face is done this is what i love to do i don't really do much for skincare um in the morning i just really just do this and then i'm gonna put some of my clips in my hair so i'm gonna put a little bit of my clips to get my hair out of the way next i use my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream with sunscreen. It has um, SPF of 30. I love this sunscreen. It's great for your face makeup. You can use this as a primer too because it's really good. What I love about it is because it's a two-in-one. It's a moisturizer that moisturizes the heck out of your skin and it has SPF of it. 30 and that's like so good for your face. The more sunscreen, the better to protect your face. So I love it because it's a two-in-one and you don't have to put many products on your face. And I'm already almost out of this and it's like so good. So I only use just like a little bit of my finger. And I just massage it into my skin. So see already we put our moisturizer on and look how glowy we look. I always gotta protect my face, so this is look at the glow. So now we're going to the makeup. I've been loving the fluffy brow look. So what I use to do my brows, so we're going to do my brows first, is the Got To Be Glue Styling Spiky Glue. It's water resistant and this is what I use to fluff up my eyebrows and make them look so good. And I like to use this with a whatever spoolie brush and I use this to do my eyebrows. So we're going to spike up our eyebrows. Well, first I'm going to get my little spoolie from my Anastasia Wiz and just nicely fluff them up already i really but i really been loving doing this technique for my brows because i remember like two years ago my eyebrows were not in they were like that boxy look very dark and like what was i thinking so i'm gonna get my little mirror right here and like really fluff up my brows Yeah, so that's what I do my brows, and then what I do is just go. Just like that. And look how fluffy they look. Oh my god. So now I'm gonna do the other side. I only just get a little bit on my brush. Not that much. I just get that much on my brush. And then I get the back of my hand, and then I just like scrub it.
Fall that sits and dries. I like to get my concealer, my Born This Way. This is my favorite concealer. Oh my god, this is my go-to concealer. I really love it. It's so creamy and full coverage. So what I like to do is I like to put less is more. I like putting concealer just on the high points of my face. So since my brows are kind of dry now, I like to do is get my Anastasia Wiz. This is my go-to brow product to color my eyebrows and stuff like that because I don't like really using the pomade anymore. So I've really been loving just doing the brow with. So what I like to do, sparse areas I have, I just like to fill it in a little bit. So And then later we'll go back um, to do a little bit more finishing touching if I need to make them darker. So now we're going to do is cut the brows. Just under the brows, we're not going to do the top because we want it very natural. So I'm just going to get just a little brush like this and then we're just going to carve them out. Okay, I carved them out. They look super good. And now I'm just going to blend in all, all of it all on my eyelid. Just patting it. And my go-to for a very sunkless glowy look. You want to use something very light not something that's like really full coverage this is what i've been loving this is my go-to product lately i have to get a new one and it's a it cosmetic cc cream with spf boo is my fave so what i like to do is just get a pump back in my hand just a pump in the back of my hand and i like to get my fingers and just pat it where it needs to be so i just like dotting it all over my face And you want to use a wet beauty beauty sponge. So this is the one I've been using. It's my um, e.l.f. one. This is my go-to one. This is my favorite, also my favorite beauty sponge, and it's the e.l.f. one. Now we just blend it in. And then we're going to use whatever is left on top of my forehead. The key secret of concealer is just letting it sit on your face. So now I'm just going to blend it in right here just a little bit. Just blend it in. Just blend, blend, blend. And then just don't forget your eyelid. So now we're going to cream contour. And this is my go-to LA Girl Pro Conceal. So I use the shade Toast to give me that nice cream contour. So I just place all over my face. And then I like to go right The light is shining on my nose and go right under the brow, just right on the brow and then right under the nose, just like that. And then we're going to draw a line, so they look really snapped under, so we're going to make a line. So we're going to blend that in with my favorite brush, it's um, Makeup Shack T22, this is my go-to brush for my cream contour. So now we're just gonna blend in the bottom, just downwards, to give us that snatch. Look at that, girlfriend. Look at that. So good, look at that. Yes, so that's what we love. So now we're just gonna pat in everything. Just pat it in. And now we're gonna just bring in the contour into our hairline. All right, so now what I like to do for my nose is I like to get a little eyeshadow brush, just like this. This is our Real Techniques one. And I like to do is just like to softly fluff it out. So that's what I'm just gonna lightly fluff it out. Just blend it into the eyebrows because you want to blend in as close so you can look more in the snatch. And then I like to get a little bit of my concealer and just kind of brighten up the tip of my nose and a little bit. And then I just get my beauty blender and just slightly pat it in there. And the powder we're going to be using is the La Mercier. This is my go-to favorite powders. The one of the best powders I love. So all we're going to do is just really bake under our eyes. So because I get creases under my eyes and we're just gonna bake that in and just lightly pat around my face because I don't want a very dry face I still want that glow all over my face so we're not gonna put so much powder on our face so we're gonna get a little bit and just lightly pat it around the areas just lightly and then we're gonna get my real techniques 
Beauty um, Powder Spoon. And for bronzer, the bronzer I've been loving is, I've had two of them. So I have my Rimmel um, Natural Bronzer, it's just a nice glow. And then I have my NARS Lagoon Bronzer. We're going to use a little bit of this first. I'm going to use my e.l.f. brush, just pat it in there. Because the cream bronzer kind of helps with the bronzer already, just enhance it more. And then a little bit of my neck. And then I go in. And then for blush, I've been loving my Wet n Wild one. It's the Nudist Society, and this is very peachy, has sparkles. And we're gonna put this blush on the high points of the face just to make it very lifted. Way up here, like where my highlight is, kind of, just to lift my face. So that's what I love. And this is a very sun-kissed look, so we're going to have a lot of blush. And then I just like to blend the blush around my face to so have some color. Setting spray, so this is my more favorite one. And we're just going to set the face for our highlight. And then for highlight, we're going to be using my La Milani, and this is Sun Glow. Let's use my finger and just lightly put this on my nose. Just kind of pat it with my finger to make it look more natural. Just very... Subtle, but look at that glow. Less is more. And we look very dewy and wet, and that's what we're going for. So while that's done, now we're going to do is our eye. The palette I've been loving to do my eyeshadow with is the Soft Glam by Anastasia. This is my go-to for uh, a very bronze look I want to do for my eye. Fluffy brush, and I just like to get the burnt orange color. Burnt orange color, and then just put it all over my crease. Eyebrow brush, just an angle brush, and I like to get... The dark brown shade is a cypress dark brown color and I like to make a wing and I like to follow the end of my lash line so I just follow this just like that and just make a little wing and I like to put it in my fingers just like that make a lot and I like to rub it on both my fingers just warm it up and I like to put it um just like right here like that just very bronze glowy and i'm using the benefit bad girl bangs my go-to mascara i love this stuff it makes my lashes so long we're just gonna lightly coat them i just love doing makeup like this is like one of my favorite looks to do this is like my go-to makeup look that i just get a lot of compliments on and i just look so glowy and like sun-kissed like it's the key to make it look less is more and look at that. Okay, next is my little secret for y'all to know is putting eyelashes on. So I like to use some lashes and these are just some Dollar Tree lashes. The thing is I like to put them underneath my eyes to look like if they're my real lashes and to make it look like lash extensions. Using is my duo glue. My duo glue, this is just a clear adhesive one. All we're going to do is put the glue on top of the lash. So we're just going to put it on top of it and let that sit for like 20 seconds. What you'll be needing is your mirror and you're going to want your mirror to be all the way up kind of like this because you're going to be looking like this. So that's what we're going to do. My lash is ready and we're going to put it way up here. I have my robe on. I look very like both inspired. So now lastly is just our lip. I need a lip liner that matches your lips as close as can be. So the one I have, so the one I have is this wet and wild lip liner in the shade 712 and a willow. So this is pretty like nudie brown. A nudie brown. So I'm just gonna line my lip. And then for the lipstick I'm gonna be using is my Sephora lipstick. These are my go-to ones. I really love these. These are only nine bucks. And the shade I'll be using is number one. And I'm just gonna put it in the center of my lips. Like that. And then we're gonna get my gloss. So this is the gloss I'll be using. It's the Maybelline Lipter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid, so it's so hydrating. And I'll be using the shade Stone. I'm gonna put this all on our lips. Ooh, so this is to make it look very glowy. So let me show y'all. Just very beachy ways. I'm literally on my tippy toe. I hope you guys enjoyed my Vogue inspired um beauty secret video. I hope you guys got some great tips and this great makeup look. Oh my god, this is so glowy. Everyday makeup. 
you know, who's ready for summer and stuff like that. And then just beach ways. If you want a tutorial on like how to do um, these curls, if you really want an in-depth tutorial and then how to put lashes underneath your real ones, I can definitely do those videos for y'all. But so I hope you guys enjoyed this Vogue inspired makeup look. I hope I really guys hope you guys enjoy my video. I have I'll link everything down below if I can find like some links on it. And I'm so happy to do this trend because you know, like why not? I love Vogue so. Why not with our bougie robe and just, you know, more cute hair and full on makeup. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. So I don't know how you end the video, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!